Hallelujah to Jesus, Father, we bless your holy name. We give God all the glory. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. Glory above Father. Child of God, this is an urgent caution. Somebody will ask, is, we, is spiritual warfare necessary? Spiritual warfare is very necessary. In fact, it's even, our, it's even the foundation of our breakthrough. The foundation. The foundation. If you are the person that is used to only entertainment, only just, you know, you want to hear laughter, hey, hey, without seriousness, child of God, <laughs> there is something we call her jackass. That is why spiritual warfare is very necessary. Hallelujah. And God said, I should tell this person, this is a warfare. He said, don't eat with them. It is an urgent word. This is very serious. When you are not convinced, when you are not convinced, you know, I do tell us that every true child of God have a gift of discernment. But sometimes we don't even understand what discernment is. We are like, maybe God is just going to tell us, this is discernment, don't eat that food. Child of God, my daughter, my son, no. There are signs that God gives. Signs that God gives. Sometimes you don't just feel excited about it. You want to do the thing, but you don't feel the excitement. That uh, These are little, little ways for you to start learning how to design things. You don't, you, you want to do this thing, but you are not moved. You are like, I love this thing, but this particular one, I don't know why something is off. But let me just force myself to do it anyway. So you are going against your way. You understand? So I pray that God will upgrade your discernment. Don't eat with them. Even if the Bible says we should love our enemy, we should pray for them. Even those that are unbelievers, that are the enemy of Christ, that, that don't really know anything about salvation, God did not say that you should go and die with the devil. Even with a long spoon, they will poison you. With a long spoon, I am telling you. Because when you are even using a long spoon, you will not be able to see the plate properly. But they are you eating with a short spoon. They will pollute your spoon. <clears throat> Don't eat with them. Even if it turn to physical food, you are invited somewhere and your spirit does not carry the food. Don't eat it. It doesn't make you to be proud. There are many people who are dealing with poison. Satanic poison today because of what they have eaten. They go to the doctor, the doctor says nothing is in their stomach. Physically, the scan is done, everything, nothing is in their, nothing, nothing serious is showing. Maybe the doctor will resort to, oh, it is gas, or oh, maybe it's this, they will give medication. But the person's know, the person know that he or she is gradually going. Satanic poison cannot be detected by medical instruments. Hallelujah. This is an urgent word for somebody. You are going to that place. It is okay to spread love. But don't go there and kill yourself. There is a time to say, no, I don't want. Oh, yes, I want why I'm giving this message like this is because the person God is talking to is a believer already. It is not a baby in the Lord. It is not a baby in the Lord at all. You are growing in the Lord. So that is why I can give you this message like this. In this kind of a bold manner. Because I know that you understand the things of the Spirit. I pray may the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.